What's going on, dude? We are live. Um, how's everybody doing tonight? Church of Riffs. I am one of the hosts, Jay Nasa. Here's my co-host, Emilio Acosto, with a wall of amps behind him, as usual. The loudest Typical. kid in town, yeah. And then our guest host, the star, the child, the music man, Adam. He can dance with his hands on a guitar, of course. We all know him from bands like Goalkeeper. Not the one from South Florida, though. The other Goalkeeper. Look him up. The New Jersey Goalkeeper. Yeah, that's right. Or is it Philly? I don't know. I think it's New Jersey. They, uh, you gave him that name. You gave it away. I ended up Adam, giving it away, yeah. yeah. Adam, are you from New Jersey? Uh, yeah, by way of Miami and Chicago. Miami and New okay. Jersey, not Miami, uh, Florida. Okay. Um, do you prefer a Jersey, a New Jersey hot dog or a, uh, a Chicago hot dog? Oh, come on. Uh, come on. That's, it's, a, that's it's, a dumb question. That's how, a dumb question. How dare you? Have you ever had a Colombian hot dog? That's the real answer. I have, Columbia. and they're they delicious. They put like, <laughs> like, on it, like pineapple sauce, and it's it's good. I mean, hey, I'm Broward, uh, born br- born and raised, uh, Los Perros. That's where it's at. You know what I mean? That's where you go get your hot dog. You get your uh, hamburger uh, with egg, egg on it. Fantastic. Th- I mean, that sounds really good. Uh, Jay, before we start, uh, do you have anyone you'd like to say hello to? Yeah. So everybody in chat, what's going on? Nine Tails the Queen, Kamuts. How's everybody doing? Um, besides saying hello to my friends here, uh, we're going to start the show. And today we have a special show. It's going to be very special. Actually, wait a second. Why is it very there's somebody, special? There's somebody I want to say hi to. You. There's somebody I forgot. Is Sushi in the room with you right now? Uh, no, she's in the hallway. Do we have any of the pups in here? No, they're sleeping. I don't want to bother them. Well, <clears throat> before before I begin, I would just I I would like to say, give me hello Alice. to my family. Uh, I would like to say hello to my friends. Uh, I'd like to say hello to your dog. But most of all, Jay, I, uh, I'd like to say hello uh, to you. Hello, hello. What's uh, what's the movie? Uh, do you guys remember the movie uh, with the quote? It's like, you haven't got any friends. Oh. Or is that just my uh, saving, sleep paralysis? Saving Private Ryan. Uh, that was Tom Hanks. Yeah, <laughs> that was Tom Hanks who said that. Anyways, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna have a smooth se- that was, let's segue smoothly into our album review breakdown. So, uh, if you guys were here during that little starting soon message, you were listening to Gulch Impenetrable Cerebral Fortress, which is a new record. Not really new; it released July twenty fourth, but it's newish. Um, it's from the Speed Grind Hardcore Band from Santa Cruz, Gulch. Um, it is fucking nasty. It's an eight-track record that clocks in at 15 minutes. Um, this record is fast. It's violent. It's fucking speedcore shit. Um, I love everything about it. You know, you got the vocalist who sounds like he's gargling gasoline and his mouth is on fire. And then you have the drummer... Who's playing like a fucking caveman? I love it. It's just like four on the floor, two four drum beats, like do ba do ba, but really fast. Um, I I really like this record. It's fun to listen to, and you know, m- most like records nowadays they'll clock in forty five to an hour. You know, I mean, obviously this is like an EP. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying that like, it's fun to listen to a hardcore record or something that's just really heavy. That's like 15 minutes, you know, you just play it on your way to work or just listen to it real quick. Get a little pep in your step. You yeah. know what I mean? I, you know, I knew coming into listening to this record based on the records that you guys like that it was going to be heavy. But like, holy shit, yeah. this was impressive. Um, more so because it's it's not like shred worthy music. You're not listening to like technical prowess. Yeah. But as a band, they really they, they're tight like they're locked in and uh to be honest i was actually really happy at the end of it that it was like 15 minutes because even though i loved it it was just so much fucking raw power that i don't think i could do an hour of that you know like yeah i love <laughs> converge, but i can only listen to like half of a converge record before 
where I'm like, all right, I need a break. I need to go stand outside and like sit in the sun for a little bit. Yeah, uh, you don't want um, you don't want to overdose on this shit. This is this is no. this is violence, man. Um, I mean, it was basically it's, it's like listening to cocaine. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And um, another thing is uh, what's what's fun about this record is like you know when they so when they go into these like speedy sections you know when like the the drummer's doing blast beats and the guitar player is just going fucking lightning fast like it sound i love stuff that sounds like madness you know mm-hmm. what i mean and like the the record doesn't really I, I i won't say the record does the music like justice and the reason why is like this shit you got to hear live this totally is still, this still, you got to hear this in a room with people right uh, I want to like beat people up to this kind of music. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna be moshing. I, I'm I'm an old man. I'm fucking. You're old. almost thirty. I'm almost thirty. I can't. My back. I just I think about my I back every time. <laughs> you you've been almost thirty for the past ten years. Yeah, um, it's true. And listening to this makes me feel like I'm forty because I can't I can't move that fast. Not even on drums, man. Will. <laughs> but um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. But uh, so. You know, uh, obviously, like, if you can see Gulch live, I mean, they're in Cali, so good luck. Um, I don't know if they'll come to the East Coast, but if you can see them, fucking see them. And, you know, that room is going to be on fire. And uh, another cool thing about this record is the last track is a cover. And no, they didn't cover a hardcore band. They didn't cover a new metal band. They didn't cover a grindcore band. They, they covered, covered a goth band. They covered, yeah, they covered a goth band, a goth poppy band that was big. Uh, I believe in the late eighties, nineties. I'm pretty no sure. early eighties. They were, uh, yeah, they like they were around at about the same time as like the early Cure records, like Pornography and Seventeen Seconds. They're um, a really atmospheric goth band. Lots of keyboards, really good guitar player. Um, but not anything I was expecting at the end of this hard <laughs> thrash fest, you know. And they do it justice. They they play the main riff. So, um, and the band we're talking about is Susie and the Banshees. Oh, I, you know, that's that's the thing. If you can play the main riff, yeah, then you can you can do it. Especially that song. The song is a uh, sin in my heart. Um, they turn it into a brutal masterpiece. They do. Uh, so yeah, Gulch. Um, if you want something fast, heavy, violent, fucking evil, this is the record for you in 2020. I feel like um, if I was gonna rate it, I would give it, I think, an eight out of ten. And the only reason why is because I I need to see this fucking live. Yeah. And live, it's, it's perfect. Like this is this is perfect for for the madness in a crowd, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Amelia, what would you give this? What do you have to say about this record, Amelia? Did you dive into this? Did you did you jump off your keyboard? Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, the riffs are good. They're solid. They're there. Um, the drums are fast. I think the guitar is pretty fast, too. Um, I mean, it has its moments. You know what I mean? Like, it goes into... Um, uh, like, a lot of cool parts. Like, you know, some of it's standard hardcore... Uh, but you kind of want to hear that on a, uh, the this type of record anyway. Um, isn't uh, Gulch the same band that made like uh, headlines or whatever? Or they they kind of became uh, they like memed themselves a little bit uh, with that hoodie, right? They had like the anime hoodie with the cutesy figures. I'm not familiar. No, I don't. Yeah. Know. Uh, um, I will look it up right now. Let yeah. me grab my source. Yeah. Uh, Gulch hoodie. To be Honest, I didn't hear about this band until earlier this week when you guys told me you wanted to review it. I'm really glad that uh, that you did want to review it because it's it's something I've listened to every day this week since then to get myself like pumped for work. Yeah, uh, I, I was spot on with you, eight out of ten. Like just because I need to like experience it live. And, and um, it's also like uh, there's uh, my favorite track on this record is going to be a. Uh fucking towards salvation <laughs> um because it, well, it, that's it, your motto. yeah it's, <laughs> well uh this song that song uh it sounds like a a toy being wound up 
it kind of mm-hmm. starts like st- the drums starting slow, faster, 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 and uh, I just and he's playing like this just dumb easy um, drum beats like do ba do ba do ba do ba over and over again until you check know, this out. What? Let's see it. Wait, wait. Ready? He found it. He found. Hold it. on. No. No way. Oh. Oh. I, I that. love that. Yeah, I, I want that love. too. Yeah, that's ironic. I would wear that one hundred percent. So that was like a big thing for this band. Um, I think it was like kind of a joke, and people were after the uh, the hoodie. That I think this was a couple of years ago now. Um, but dude, they're sick. You know what I mean? Like they they've got riffs in all the right places, all the right moves in all the right places. So yeah, we're going down. Um, <laughs> but I guess if I for like a rating, uh, probably like a. A seven, a seven out of ten. You know what I mean. I'd want to see it live, like you said. Um, I think it works in the in the record. It comes across well. Um, but dude, like I want to be. You want to be in that room. Like you want to be there for that like fifteen minutes of nonstop noise, and then it's over. And then the next band plays, and it's another fucking fifteen minutes of ass beating riffs. And that's kind of what this type of music is all about, to me at least. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think that's 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 a respectable score. You know. It also, is respectable. Uh, you know, considering considering like how like short their songs are, we're t- so let's just say like the average set for a band is like twenty minutes, right? So the record's fifteen minutes. So you're telling me that these guys can squeeze in maybe five more songs? Yeah, but <laughs> they're a punk band, so uh, as you know having uh, played shows with punk bands, it takes them like 45 minutes to set up. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's when there's a, ha- there's a, ha- yeah. And there's a house kit and they still take 45 yeah. minutes to set up. <laughs> and they're borrowing cabs. Yeah. They go to and me for symbols. And I'm like, your they're like, can I borrow your Omni ride? Eh. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes that's just how you gotta be. But you know? you do you it can't, not everybody nice can be lightning fast. It. Yeah. And then, uh, they immediately get kicked out for life after yeah. <laughs> after after the set's done. Um, so yeah, uh, we love the record. We highly recommend it if you want to hear something fucking insane. Open up this pit, sir. Thank you so much for watching our review. Listen to Gulch. If you like the video, hit subscribe and slam that sub notifications bell to stay current with our videos. You gotta keep on riffing. Give us a thumbs up if you like Gulch. They made me jump off my keyboard and destroy everything in my room. They're pretty heavy. Leave a comment about your favorite riff and I will tell you to get back into Riff Church, you filthy animal. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook for upcoming news and stuff. We know you love it. And to catch us live on Twitch to see it all go down, baby. Links in the description below. Bye-bye. Riffs.